So the time has come. Will's Versa H18 is getting an upgrade and he's also getting a case upgrade. Now you may remember this, this is the Thermaltake V200, one of our most popular videos to date. There are two videos we did on the V200, one about the actual case itself and one about how to connect the fans on the front. And they are doing amazingly well for how simple they were to make. Uh, so thank you for making those videos the most popular videos on our channel. So the reason we're making this video is obviously to give Will an upgrade, as we've already just said. Now his parts are getting on a little bit. He's got an i5, it's a dual core i5, very, very old. I forget the type now. Um, he's only got eight gig of RAM in it. He wants to do streaming and gaming on the same machine. Uh, we don't have enough to build a separate streaming machine at this time. So he's gonna get my old system and here it is. No, it's not the ROG Strix B450E Gaming from uh, Asus ROG. Um, this is my old, if I can get the case open. And no, he's not getting the DG60 from uh, XPG there. That's my RAM. Sorry, Will. So here we go. This is my old motherboard, and this is the one Will is getting to upgrade his computer with and it's going in the v200 so this is the z97 pro gamer motherboard from asus and this one has the i7-4790k and 16 gig of kingston i believe this is savage ram let's have a quick look so yeah this is hyperx savage ram and uh being that will is quite a savage anyway these are gonna fit him just fine and you may notice they're in the wrong slots uh that will be fixed when we put the build into the case. So that is what Will was gonna get in the V200. Now, currently in this system, it's my daughter's system. Uh, this is the AMD, uh, I think it's Phenom X4 950 or 960. It's a quad core and uh, it, it, it does so really well actually, but it runs extremely hot, even with the Wraith, um, is it the Stealth or Prism cooler? That's the Prism cooler we've got on that. AM3 socket motherboard there and she's going to downsize a little bit and as I've said already we're doing the Versa H18 up so we're going to be spraying that and um, yeah stick around get subscribed and don't forget that notification button to see that video when it comes out very soon. But for now let's concentrate on Will's upgrade and get his done and dusted so stick around don't go anywhere let's build a computer. So uh, let's lie this thing down and start stripping the computer out. So this has four mil thick tempered glass on it and tempered glass just means it's kind of toughened really. Uh, heat treated to make it a bit stronger. Let's take that off. It needs a bit of a clean but we can do that after. So here we are. Now the one thing that you're probably going to go oh my god what is that still doing in the tower? Well don't forget how old this motherboard is. Let's have a look, see what it is. This is for all you guys that know exactly what is what out there, unlike me. It is the, it's a gigabyte motherboard. It's an M4A79XT, is that a D or a zero? Evo, no, it's an O. So the M4A79XT0 Evo. Uh, if any of you know your motherboards, then uh, maybe comment down below what you think about this one. This was actually a pre-built computer. The case, obviously it wasn't in this case. This graphics card, surprisingly, with only one gig of RAM, yes, look at this. This graphics card is the Radeon HD 5770. Look at that. So this card has one gigabyte of RAM on it, and I don't think it's even DDR5, GDDR5. Uh, if you know down below what type of RAM this had on it, then again, comment down below. Uh, I'd be interested to know. One gig. Can you imagine running games with one gig? Believe it or not, this card runs Battlefield 5 and GTA 
fairly well, actually, fairly well, given the um, CPU that we've got in here, the quad-core AMD CPU, the Phenom X4. Uh, so yeah, this one could really do with an upgrade, but that's not Will's, that's uh, my daughter's. So let's move on, shall we? Almost forgot, ATX motherboards, standard size ATX motherboards have nine screws. So yeah, when you're taking out yours, make sure you, I mean, assuming you've got nine in there, make sure you unscrew all of them. As I have not. So that's the motherboard out. So let's get the fans out. Never forget the IO shield, because you'll need those and uh, I need that out for the new motherboard, the replacement motherboard that's going in here. All right, make sure we got all those connections for this case. That's what we need to plug into your new one. I need to take out the SSD. I fix it. I don't have an iFixit kit. Honestly, if anyone wants to donate me an iFixit kit, I could really do with one right now. They're amazing pieces of kit. Literally, every tech tuber needs an iFixit kit. It's kind of like the law, you know? Unfortunately, I don't have one. So yeah, anyone want to donate iFixit kit? Comment down below. Okay, the SSD is out. Chuck it on the bed. We don't need that. Believe it or not, you can be quite I say aggressive, I don't mean like Aah! I don't mean that kind of aggressive. I mean, like you don't have to be extremely careful with an SSD because after all, there are no moving parts. So you're not going to really cause any damage unless you run over it with a car. <laughs> or stick a magnet to it. Yeah, or stick a magnet to it. Don't do that. Yeah, we've tried that, not with an SSD, but we've tried that with a normal hard drive. How do you think that ended? very badly i must say one of our worst performing videos uh go and check it out we did a video on that as well believe it or not we've done that as well um awful i i quite enjoyed that video but it did very very badly so it was like a series of videos we were going to do uh but because it 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 did very very poorly we didn't actually do any more we just didn't see the point in putting the effort in for it. But if that's something you would like to see, then yeah, comment down below. So you never know, we might bring it back because it's just a bit of fun. We get to damage our stuff, so you don't have to. Yeah, we like doing crazy things. It's more fun. Sync cable. Yes, this case does support motherboard RGB sync. And if you go and check out the video on the V200, it explains which ones it's compatible with. This is the cable you need. We're gonna leave the power supply that's in this case already because it is more than good enough for Wills. It's an 80 plus element gaming, not a hugely popular one, um, but it does provide enough power for the system that Will's gonna be getting. So we're gonna leave that in. Unfortunately, Will, you're gonna to have to put up with ketchup and mustard cables until we can get you some extensions. Ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard? Come on. You know what that means. Ketchup and mustard. Ketchup are the red, yellow is the mustard. It's just what they're called. It's just a fact of life. Okay, so front fans need to come off because they are going in my daughter's case. Uh, this is going to be not so difficult. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna have to come around and do this. Crash bang wallop. So yeah, comment down below of what you've upgraded recently. It doesn't have to be brand new hardware. If you've upgraded from say an i3 to an i5 or you've gone from Intel to AMD, even first gen AMD, then uh, yeah, comment down below, put your system specs down below. I'd be interested to see what people are upgrading to these days. I know there's a lot of choice out there, but I'm still quite interested to know. More like you're pretty much just 
taking everything out so it's pretty much being removed. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't get it. No. <laughs> Oh, I keep getting caught on the cable. See, this is why I need Wi-Fi, wireless, Wi-Fi, uh, wireless mic. I need the adapter for the wireless mic that we've got. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I need some Wi-Fi. Yeah, I need some Wi-Fi mic. Oh, they're screwed in from the other side. Very clever. Mm, which one? Can you just hold this front panel? Just like up a bit. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> okay, you can let go now. Okay, get back and do your job. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think that is pretty much everything out that needs to come out. Okay, so we've had a little break and now we're down to uh, the bit where we actually need to put the stuff in the case. So let's get on with it. Always, always remember, the IO shield before you put in your motherboard. The correct way round. <laughs> Hard drives, graphic card. Your graphics card does need one of those, so I need to poke him through. Mm. What are these? We do not need such things. I've got the fans to run down there yet. Let's just get this cable out of the way. Fuzzy graphics card. Oh, we must tidy the cables. Why won't you fit? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, okay. I see it. There's a problem. <laughs> Why is that? Because this is my voice. No. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, in this particular case, I need more of these, but I need some here. I want to tie the cables. Ah, oh, there's one there. And maybe I can use that. You know, kill two birds with one stone. Ah! I did not expect that to happen. So you may have noticed that I like my cable ties. I like to cable. I like to make it tidy. Because you never know, actually, when uh, someone might open up the, this side, not that you can see anything from this side, and go, wow, that is just amazing. Not that that's going to happen, but, you know, still it's... Well, you might, because it's for you. You might go, who did that expert cabling job? Expert. Well, yeah, exactly. Right, I think now is the time to get the fans in there before we do too much cabling. I can get carried away with cabling. Oh, now I've cable tied. I cannot open this very well. That's annoying. Didn't really plan that through. Um, yeah, well, this could be an issue. How much slack have I got? None. I have literally none. Okay, we'll just have to make best of the situation that we have. So, we're always having these two huge, oh, 200, yeah. Is it 200? Are these 200 mil? Those. 200 mil uh, blue thermal tape fans came out of my X71. So then, intake from the front, coming through the vent on the side there. There is no dust filter on the side, so air can freely flow through that, and obviously at the bottom as well. I'm talking to myself oh. because no one ever listens to me. <laughs> oh. Really? So sad, senor, so sad. So about halfway. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Thinking about it, probably could have put the fans in first. Would have made them, would have made fitting them a little bit easier, actually. But uh, you know, we all do things in the wrong order sometimes. Now, when you're installing SSDs, 
you may notice there's four screw holes and usually you would need to uh, screw them all in but because SSDs have no moving parts you can get away with using two which is what we're going to be doing today however if you're a system builder you'll know and you'll probably put all four in uh, we're not we're just doing this for quickness and you don't really need four screws like I say there's no moving parts so these are mechanical drives uh, these will be swapped out soon for SSDs so for now we're only going to do two just so we can get his machine built because uh, we're kind of running out of time and I've got other things to work on other videos to do and William needs his machine okay so I've managed to tidy up the cables on the back side as best I can but you know it's gonna have a cover on it no one's gonna actually see anything anyway so we've got the thermal tape controller there for one of the fans that he's got on the back there because he wants the blue theme going through this case getting these two and a half inch drives here that are behind you'll see it when I flip it around in a minute it was extremely hard to line them up especially given that the ATX 12 volt was there as well so uh, yeah that's something to bear in mind when you build into this case but it's not a problem it's just very tight so let's turn it around so really the final thing we've got to do is uh, put a GPU in it unfortunately on some cheaper cases this isn't exactly a cheap case but this used to be a thing where they would actually not give you spare um, IO shields for the PCIe slots there they were actually just you know just held in you have to kind of bend them off you don't get spares on this one which is a shame but it's not a problem because you know just bunging this in anyway and there we go screw that in let's plug the power in when you need one on this one this kind of annoys me because now i've got to try and sort this out and that's going to probably be shown maybe and they didn't do the sleeving all the way up to the end so you either get sleeving and that or you get that and no sleeving yeah, and we've got this black dude just hanging there just chilling so i might just cable tie around that just so you've got a bit of blue accent color on here and there we go let's put the side panels on and i think we're done And here it is, the completed build. We got there finally, it's taken a long time. As you can see, the light may have changed somewhat from when we first started the video. It's now pitch black outside. Let's get this thing plugged in and make sure it boots because I haven't done a boot test on it. So let's do that now. Okay, so we've put the PC in a temporary position on Will's desk. So uh, Will, do you want to do the honors and turn it on? Sorry, I didn't really plan for this. <laughs> let's get this fired up. Okay, so Will. The time has come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fire it up. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, where's the Oh, good? wait, hold on. That might be my fault. Try again. Got an image on the screen. We have hard drives detected. Right, here we go. So we've just got a bit of configuration to do and we'll be back in Windows. So we think we fixed the problem. So take two, we'll fire the computer up. Here we go, the post beep, that's a good sign. By the sign. way guys, if this, is, if this makes it out by the video, I should be have done a stream by the time it goes out. When's it, where, how long does it take you to edit a video? Uh, a couple of days. In two, about days. a week. <laughs> Probably a week. Because <laughs> tomorrow hey, is next Sunday. Here we go. And we have sound. So while we're waiting for Epic Games to launch, it's launcher, it's probably doing an update as well, I expect. Here you can see everything is nice and clean. <laughs> nice, shiny, tempered glass screen there. <gasps> Overcooked is free. Yeah, Overcooked is free on Epic Games at the time of filming this video. I'm getting that. And um, yeah, so 4790K with 16 gig of RAM now instead of eight, which he had previously. Let's just do the benchmark for GTA 5. 
So we've loaded up Epic Games. We're going to run the benchmark for Rockstar and uh, see what kind of performance we get. You won't know what it was like before because obviously this wasn't run uh, before we started doing the build, before we changed everything over. So uh, but at least you'll be able to see what you get with a i7 4790K and a GTX 1050, a little bit underpowered maybe for the i7 4790K. Um, but we should see what kind of gaming experience that he's going to get. He's not going to be playing this game, obviously, but at least we'll be able to see. Because you guys probably play it, right? So as you saw there, we got between 30 and 60 FPS in that particular benchmark. But for what he's going to be doing, he's not going to be playing that anyway. He's going to be doing Fortnite, which it runs absolutely fine. So um, yeah, that brings us to the end of our video. And I hope you liked our little short build. We just like building computers. It's just good fun. And uh, we just thought we'd bring you, bring you along for the ride because uh, why not? So you may have noticed that Will is no longer standing here looking his usual self. Uh, that's because he had a sudden case of nosebleed, so he had to go out of the room very, very quickly. So uh, he's now behind the camera sorting that out, sorting his nose out. He's fine. He's all, he's all fine. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> he's all fine, so you don't need to worry. He's all good. Um, but yeah, that's why he's disappeared. Anyway, thank you, guys. If you like this kind of content, then uh, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification as well. And um, comment down below of the things we mentioned earlier about what you've upgraded recently in your build. If you have any other suggestions about videos you would like us to do, then again, comment down below. Every comment does actually really help. So anything you can comment, nice, is very much appreciated. If you want to support what we do, then there are tons of links down below about how you can support what we do, whether that be Patreon, donations, anything like that. And speaking of donations, we are working on a custom PC charity build. Now, this PC is going to be given away to someone suffering with severe anxiety. This is a real thing, and we've been working on it for quite a few months now. You may have seen Twitter posts and posts on our Facebook also, social media page. Also on Twitch, there's um, Borderlands about that. So if you're old enough to have Borderlands, or you're 18, or however old you have to be, you could watch that. So if you didn't hear that, because it's quite far away from the mic, uh, and he's got tissue on his nose, so if you didn't hear that, uh, he was mentioning we did a Borderlands stream as well. We gave Borderlands away, um, yeah, about a month or so ago now, and that was that stream was actually for severe anxiety for raising money for that. So if you are able to donate to our severe anxiety charity custom gaming PC, we have a link down below. So go and check that out, and if you, anything you can donate for that is very, very much appreciated. We do have, uh, we are sponsored by, at least at the moment, we're sponsored by Crucial. They've given us uh, two SSDs, one NVMe, and they've given us some RAM to go in that PC as well. So you'll see uh, videos on those coming very soon. 
um, but they are for the charity build and uh, it's very very nice of them to give that to us so thank you very much crucial you're amazing if any other people out there do want to donate or buy bits for our charity pc build then you can click on the amazon link down below that will allow you to purchase products if you'd rather do it that way and uh, then you can send it directly to us here and that would be very very much appreciated as well anyway sorry for the very long ending help if you can subscribe if you can we'll see you in the next one goodbye Cody, you need drink, you need drink. i want my drink ah <sighs>